Good afternoon, Lion Nation. I am here with tennis coach Keith Orhood. Um, coach Orhood has been recognized and was recognized uh, earlier this week uh, by CIF for the CIF uh, Champions of Character Award for the 2022-2023 uh, school year, an award very, very well earned. And uh, Coach, I just want to say on behalf of, of Jay Sarah, uh, congratulations on this particular honor. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Um, if you could just, you know, let us know what this award means to you. I know, you know, when you, you, you coach and you do certain things, you get awards and they have, you know, particular meaning. But what does this particular honor mean to you? Well, first, they got a cool little acrylic glass trophy. I don't want to drape, drop it and break it on the tennis court, but every, everyone got there. There was about 36 people that got awards. Um, I felt very humbled to be around the group of people there. A lot of people have been coaching for you know, 25, 30, 40 years, and uh, they gave awards to activity directors, athletic trainers, coaches, and, and most of all, students. So it, it was really... I felt honored to represent the school. There was no one else from the Trinity League there. And I feel like I'm in the infancy of the adaptive athletic program, but wheelchair tennis has been going for 18 months now. And that's, I think that's really why CIF chose to honor our school and to give me the award. So I was pretty stoked to be there. You talked about the infancy of this program. Uh, you know, can you just talk about what was the motivation to become involved and, and to start something that has so much meaning and so much benefit in the community? Well, I appreciate you asking that question, and, and really, it's a God thing. Uh, I got approved to coach wheelchair tennis a couple of years before COVID and was sitting around helping my brother coach the programs here and the youth programs and the carpool tennis moms having fun and just going from month to month and year to year. Um, and then I thought, you know what, now that COVID's over, what else can I do with my wheelchair thing? So I decided to go for it, kind of a whispering by the Holy Spirit to go out and do something. And I'm approaching my golden year. So it's kind of fun to wake up with, uh, with uh, responsibilities and a, and a new dream and new reasons to get up and go to work. Now, again, you mentioned the infancy part, obviously plans to expand what's already been done. Uh, can you let us know what might be in the in the future in terms of adaptive athletics here at J. Sarah? Well, yes, we have a, a J. Sarah Adaptive Athletic Club that the students are involved in. I had a great meeting earlier this week with uh, Rich Meyer and Chris Ledyard and Amy Hemphill about formalizing the department and keeping my fingers crossed and praying that that comes about. I think we would be the first... Um, high school in the United States that has a formal athletic, adaptive athletic department. So I'm looking forward to that, but I'm still working towards that anyway. Um, one of the sports that we're trying to get going is uh, wheelchair basketball there and then later flag football. And we can have some students come here on campus as high schoolers that wrestle, uh, track and field, swimming, and of course, tennis. And so we're looking at having a youth program where our school kids just flood in here after school, do a free program every week. And then some of the kids that can matriculate and end up on our high school level and get D1 scholarships is really, is really what we're looking to do. Yeah, a lot of great plans and, and we know that this is, like you mentioned before, only the beginning and, and so many good things coming down the pipeline. Again, uh, Coach Keith Orhood, thank you so much and uh, congratulations on being honored by CIF 2022-2023 uh, Honoree uh, Champions of Character Award. Thank you, congratulations, and we look forward to more great things. All right, thank you, appreciate it.